Hello everyone, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as germline mutations versus somatic mutations. Now these mutations usually depend on the cell type. Now inside human being, we have two different type of cells. One type of cells are called as somatic cells that are same in both male and female while gametes are different in male and female. So, if the mutation occurs in the gametes before fertilization, as you can see in this picture, this egg is mutated before fertilization. So, this type of mutation will appear inside the individual and will pass on to the next generation as well. So the type of mutation that occurs within the gametes before fertilization is called as germline mutations. While on the other hand, in this picture, as you can see that the mutation is occurring after fertilization. So this mutation will appear inside that individual, but it will not pass on to the next generation. Now that type of mutation is called as somatic mutation. Let's take a real example of germline mutation and somatic mutation. So the real life example I have is called as retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is an eye cancer that begins in retina, the sensitive lining on the inside of your eye. They can be non-heredity as the mutation is occurring after the fertilization. So one child is suffering from the disease, but the other child is not suffering from it. It can be heredity. So if it is present in the germline of one individual, it can pass on that disease to their children as a carrier. And that carriers will pass on the disease to their kids in the second generation and the symptoms will be visible there. So retinoblastoma can be heredity and can be non-heredity. Perfect example of germline mutation and somatic cell mutation. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe this channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.